Once upon a time in Fortnite, editing was often overlooked. It was one of the skills players learned fast. In the past, it was a skill only pros would and could do. But now if you want to win, editing is a must. Pros and casuals alike use edits to confuse people into getting chip shots off on them, since most players aren't expecting more than the norm. I'm sure you've seen Tifu or even Mongrel use a variety of edits to play with their opponent's mind, making it easier for them to claim the kill. Hey guys, this is Keith Allen Henson, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down who we think the top five current editors in Fortnite are. We've gathered it all right here. Feel free to make your own stats and let us know how your squares off with ours. So, without further ado, let's get into this. What exactly does best editors mean? Editing requires two essential skills, practical and clean edits. Many players have one of them, but top Fortnite editors have both. Practical editing is trying to perform an edit that isn't very risky. A great example is editing down on a low health target very quickly. This would be an intelligent, practical edit since I know I can't give the enemy time to recover. Clean edits, on the other hand, is how little you fail and edit or make a mistake. Okay, let me explain to you guys how we are going to do this. We're going to be showing you the top current five Fortnite editors, and we're going to be analyzing them to show you why we think they are the top five editors. Feel free to make your own stats and comments down below. Coming in at number five, we have Cypher PK, which most of you all know as one of the first big Fortnite streamers. Cypher PK is known for his high IQ plays and creative builds. He was actually one of the first innovators of the Tower of Traps a while back. Cypher ranks very well when it comes to practical editing. You won't see him editing unless he knows it's going to benefit him. He's more of a better safe than sorry player. Some people dislike this sort of gameplay, as you guys know, Fortnite is a very fast-paced game. It encourages more aggressive gameplay. Regardless, Cypher PK scores well in nearly all pop-up cups, so it tells me his style is effective at the pro level. Cypher is the type of guy to think before he makes a move whereas other players might rely more on instinct and muscle memory. When we scale it down to clean edits, I can say Cypher aces this part. He just edits so intelligently, it's hard for him to make a mistake. You almost never see him fail in edits since everything he does is well thought out. Now, if you guys thought Cypher was good, check this out. Coming in at number four, we have a smooth operator, Benji Fishy. He just sport out of nowhere after Mr. Savage played a few games on stream with him. He's a pretty likable and personable player, often cracking a joke or two to keep his audience laughing. But while he's definitely entertaining, sometimes his edits are not practical. This means in certain scenarios, he will perform edits which can either be highly risky or not have much use. That's what has him sitting at number four. Still, there are many reasons Benji Fishy is a fantastic player and editor. His high in-game sensitivity, along with his crazy speeds, allow him to go beyond the norm. Tell me, have you guys ever seen Benji's crazy editing? He happens to be quick with decisions and will usually go for some very 50-50 plays. Benji Fishy is the type of guy to do multiple blazing fast edits using one building piece, confusing his opponent. This type of gameplay works wonders against casuals, but when it comes to competitive Fortnite, it loses its touch. Better players aren't likely to fall for such obvious edits. With clean edits and not many slip-ups, Benji Fishy has the credentials and achievements to back up his fourth place spot. But I'm already itching to tell you guys who takes the third spot. I'm sure you already know though. Yep, you guessed right. Coming in at number three, his name speaks for itself. Mr. Savage is one of Fortnite's youngest prodigies out there. He started off with no followers and has now passed over 600,000 Twitch followers in just under a year. That lets you know how insane his edits are to watch. He's widely known for using incredible high sensitivity, yet somehow he still seems to manage it so well. 
He relies heavily on flicks and super fast edits. Combined with amazing game sense, he's able to dish out monstrous gameplay. The bottom line is that Mr. Savage is able to turn a bad situation into a good one with his blazing fast reactions. Honestly, I never want to fight Mr. Savage 101. Once I see that purple Skull Trooper costume, I'd get the hell out of there. Like Mongrel, he's able to string together multiple edits at incredible speed. Mr. Savage's only downside is his edits aren't very clean. Maintaining consistency with edits is incredibly hard while using high sensitivity. It also makes it incredibly hard for him to aim with an SMG. So you'll see him go for a lot of flick shots, then build right after to make up for it. Mr. Savage has speed, practicality, but lacks in the clean editing field. Regardless, Mr. Savage scores tremendously well in all competitive events, so it tells us his brand of speed does work. Now on to our number two spot on the list, we have the infamous Tifu. All of you may know that Tifu is the most popular Fortnite streamer out there. The dudes won multiple competitions across many formats. And when it comes to edits, Tifu was unarguably one of the smartest out there. But what makes him so good? He prefers to slowly tear his enemies apart rather than brute force them. This type of player game style is super effective at the pro level, and he has stats to back it up. His gameplay revolves around very practical gameplay, much like Cypher's, and you'll almost never see him fail in edit. Tifu has the speed too, but he prefers a more versatile approach. That's why you'll almost never see Tifu choke an edit. His edits are as clean as can be. And while some people may say Tifu isn't fast, he always finds a way to take the high ground and control the fight in virtually any scenario. Tifu is the epitome of skill. Now let us see who claims spot number one on our list. You ready? Now for number one, I'm sure you guys all guessed by now, we have Mongrel. Mongrel is a Fortnite player like no other. He's able to string together multiple edits at incredible speed without losing momentum or precision. He's a Fortnite prodigy. Like Mr. Savage, he's incredibly young too, which may be the reason he possesses a large amount of energy. The bottom line is he can turn bad edits into good edits so fast as if he never messed the edit up at all. Mongrel is a terrifying opponent to come against and you can see the panic in the players he fights. Now, before you guys say Tifu is better than Mongro, just remember we aren't comparing the players using every measure available. This is merely a best editor's analysis. 
Tifu and Mongo are amongst some of the best editors in the game and are very equal in that aspect. But when it comes down to editing, speed is the deciding factor, which is why our number one spot goes to Mongo. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Keith Allen Henson and stay tuned for more videos coming out.